the school of aquaponics this is brooklyn st michael with the school of aquaponics and this is episode six of ask the aquaponics god you've got questions and he's got answers this question here is coming from karen out of houston texas does aquaponic vegetables grow faster than soil grown vegetables so to answer this question, we need to understand one premise um, regarding plant development. And that premise is that plant yield, plant yield is based off of genetics. And these genetics that the plant have, they get them from their parents. So if a plant has, uh, we'll give an example uh, for a lettuce. If, a, uh, if lettuce has obtained a, a genetic encoding that it's gonna grow or it's, it's gonna grow to maturity and it's gonna take 55 days for that to happen, there's no nutrient there's no supplement, there's no farming practice that can override that genetic uh, makeup inside of that plant. There's nothing that you can do about it. So the answer to that question is no. Aquaponic vegetables don't grow faster than any other type of vegetables. And farm uh, soil vegetables don't grow faster than any other type of vegetable. Now I will say this is the reason why humans have developed the ability to, um, to, to uh, manufacture or to um, edit the gene codes inside of plants and they're able to um, genetically modify plants, um, plant genes. And this is where you, this is what genetic, modif uh, genetic modification of plants is doing. You're able to encode um, and, and, and fiddle with genes to allow uh, certain plants to grow and to, uh, to grow certain heights and certain widths and to yield certain amounts of uh, vegetables that they wouldn't normally be able to do. But we have to, in we have to input those genes inside of the vegetable. That's, that, this is the reason why they're doing genetic modifications to um, plants, because if there was a practice that allowed plants and vegetables to grow faster and to, and to grow larger and to grow bigger, then we wouldn't need uh, genetic modifications for the most part. I mean, there's other reasons that genetic, genetically modified um, uh, f uh, organisms are, are used and to, to deal with heat stress and cold and all this, oh, there's a variety of other things, but primarily it's, uh, a, uh, uh, it's used for yield, to yield. We wanna yield, produce tomatoes that are, tomato plants that are yielding way more than what they would normally do. And that's just the way it is. Now, what aquaponics does offer and what farmers do, uh, our job, is to provide an optimal environment for the plant to grow and reach that potential reach that potential. So we want to provide, um, we want to provide an environment that is stress-free, that gives the right uh, temperatures and the right humidity for the plant to develop. This is what we're doing. And aquaponics does offer that benefit over any other practice, in my opinion, any other practice. Aquaponics provides the best environment for plants to grow because plants, they operate and they develop depending on the root temperature, uh, depending on pH levels, depending on the amount of nutrients available. A lot of times in soil, the plants are competing for nutrients. So the more competing factors that you uh, place into the equation, the less, um, the less ability that plant is going to have to reach its, uh, p uh, its potential without having to go through a lot of obstacles. So in aquaponics, we can test nutrients. We can, we can grab one source of the water and we can test our nutrients. And we know that the rest of the plants are receiving an adequate amount of nutrients. We know that. They, we, have, we test for a certain a level of nitrate inside of our system. We know that these plants, we can expect each one of these plants in our system to, have, to be obtaining or they have access to this much amount of nitrate. Whereas in soil, you may put... Uh, a, 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 a kale next to a lettuce and maybe the kale needs needs more potassium maybe it needs more potassium and it's hogging up all the potassium and then the lettuce is not having access to a, a fair share of it so it's getting deficiencies and you can't just test a soil in one area if you're growing that way you're going to be testing in multiple areas so you can figure out how much nutrients are available in that particular area so aquaponics it doesn't have that um it doesn't have that type of struggle and those type of uh, competition factors that we need to consider. So aquaponics in that regards is a better practice. It's a better practice and it's more suitable to allow plants to reach their optimal potential. Not grow any faster, not grow any slower, not taste any better, none of that stuff. It's just gonna get, we're providing an optimal environment 
for it to reach its potential. So hopefully that answers your question. This is Brooklyn St. Michael with the School of Aquaponics. Toodles.